Hey everybody, Phil here for WM Experts, and we're going to take a quick look at Skyfire 1.5, just released. It's a pretty big update. Um, as you can see, everything looks a little different already. It's bigger on the screen. Uh, 1.5 goes full screen. You get rid of the top and bottom Windows Mobile menu bars, and that's certainly a good thing. You can still search from the top, and you can still search as the uh, app is loading that initial home page. See, I've got Twitter loaded up on mine. Uh, I am signed in. If you're not signed in, you won't see anything. You'll see options to sign in and to load all these pages. There you go. You can add your Gmail account. You can add your Facebook account. You still get to the bookmarks and history from the home screen, which is handy. I like that, actually. And you search from the top, and you have options to register and to look at your recent uh, searches. So let's go to WMExperts.com real quick, as we are want to do when we're using a new browser. I'm not using Wi-Fi here, so this won't load the quickest. But we will get to see it render. Remember, Skyfire is a proxy browser. That means your phone is not actually rendering the page. The page is being rendered by Skyfire servers and then shot out to your phone, which is quicker. Um, it allows for rendering that your phone can't do for things such as Flash. That's why Skyfire can play Flash video and really cool things like that. And you see the ad at the top of the Dungeon Experts page moving. That's thanks to the proxy browser. You do lose a uh, few security issues, but to be honest, it's not something I worry about. So there you go. Scrolling has gotten a little smoother. You still see the checkerboard when parts of the page aren't loaded. Again, I'm not using Wi-Fi, so it could be faster. Scrolling is very, very smooth. Um, you can see here, I'm flipping it over, trying to get it in the landscape. There you go. It took a second. That was me holding the phone at a weird angle. It actually flips very quickly. There, you see it there now. And let's go back so I can see what I'm doing. Here's a little menu. You got full screen mode. Lose the bars, and now the entire phone is your browser, as it should be. You get the history. You can mute the audio. You can share links. You can go into settings, and let's do that. So you can show page drag controls. You can get Skyfire as the default browser, which I'm going to use it as my default browser for a while. We'll see how that goes. Here are the privacy options and an advanced option. Not a whole lot of settings to this, but you remember most of the work is being done off your phone, so there really aren't that many settings to be had. And we'll take a quick look at the about. There you go, version 1.5. Um, it's a worthy update. I recommend you go get it at skyfire.com, and this is what I'm going to be using for a while. All right, see you.